look at full adder. Again, a full adder basically you have three inputs, A, B, and the carry from the previous state. So we'll call it AN, BN, and CN minus one. That's from the previous state. And the result will give you the sum and the carry out. So you have SN and the carry to the next state. And if you if A is zero, B is zero, and the carry from previous state is zero, what's zero plus zero plus zero? Zero, and there is no carry going out. What about if you have zero, zero, one? One and no carry going out. What about if you have zero, one, zero? Isn't that a one when you add the three numbers? That's one, no carry. If you have zero, one, one, that's a two, right? So zero, carry one to the next state. If you have one, zero, zero, that's a one and no carry. One, zero, one. That's two, that's zero carry one, right? And one, 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 that's three, that's one, carry one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like I missed one. Which one did I miss? One, one, zero, right? I know I missed one. So one, one, zero, zero, carry one. And one, one, one is what? One, carry one. This on the market, you can buy it right now. It's called a full adder. It works that way. When you look at it, it, it's a box, like when we draw it on a diagram here. It looks like this. It has a K from the previous state, so we'll call that input here. C from the other state, from the previous state. And you have A and B. And what's coming out of it is the sum and the K to the next state. That's to go to the next one. That's what a full adder, just one full adder adds just three bits. I mean one bit at a time here. But it has three inputs, that's what I meant, they have three inputs here. But it only add one bit. So if you have a four bit number and you want to add them, you better have four of these. I can go to the store and buy actually a four bit adder. They sell them. So what's a four bit adder looks like then? And if you look at it, for a four bit adder, I probably could squeeze it on the bottom. I'll make it the, the box is smaller. When you're adding numbers, let's think about this. When you're adding numbers, the K for the first digit is what? When you go to add, what's the K to the first digit? There is no K, right? So the first digit, the K coming to it is actually attached to ground. It's zero. The first bit when you're adding four, when you're adding zero, one, one, zero to one, zero, one, one. There is no care when you're adding these two. There's no care, just zero plus one. The, so that's why that's attached to ground. That's the CN minus one. In case, so then this is the first bit. We'll call it the A zero and the B zero. And this would be the first sum, S0. And the carry from this now, here's what's going to happen to it. That carry, we're going to loop it around and make it an input now.
Here's my second one now. Not sure why this box is a little bit bigger. Maybe give it more candy, a little bit fatter. But that's another full adder. And the carry from this stage now becomes the input here. That's C1 or C0 actually coming in. And this will be what? B1 and A1. And that will give me a sum of S1 and a carry of C1. Again, that carry becomes an input to another one. Four-bit adders are common all over. If you need eight-bit, you can buy two sets of four. That's to make a lot of noise there. So this is C1 going in. And this is what? B2. A2, the sum of two, and C2. And again, shut up people out there. And the last one now. So this is C2. B3 and A3. And you have your third sum, which is actually the fourth one. And now you have the carry. And this carry will go out C3. So if you needed actually an 8-bit adder, you get two of these. But instead of grounding the next one, now you feed this to that input. And now you get an 8-bit adder. If you need 12, you get another four of them. You take the last carry and feed it to the carry right there. So when you buy them, this is not attached to ground, a 4-bit adder. Your job to attach that to the ground, the first one. It comes in a box that has four inputs, four outputs. Actually, has eight inputs, one for A, one for B, four for each one on the top. And the inside's all connected and it has four S's, S0, S1, S2, S3, C0, C1, C2, C3. And you have that one, you have to attach to the ground. And the next one is this one, you gotta attach to that one if you wanna build another one after it. So that's called a four bit adder. So this is full adder, one bit. That's another full adder. That's another full adder. And that's another full adder. And now you have a four bit adder right there. Again, the chip itself, when you buy it from the store, the labels on it, it will look like this. Now we try and do a 12 bit adder here. I don't know if you can see, can't really see it. Let me. Maybe, no, might move it away. Is that better, a little bit? Yep, notice the first carry, you have to ground. And there is B1, B2, B3, B4, A1, A2, A3, A4. Some one, two, three, four, and one carry out. That carry goes, this is a four bit adder, that's the picture I drew there, that's all four here together. That's what this chip is. So if you need an 8 bits, then you take the carry from this, attach it to this one, and now you have an 8-bit adder. You want a 12-bit, you take the carry from this, attach it, then I have a 12-bit adder. 
and 16-bit and so forth. As we said before, we're trying to avoid adders and subtractors. Now, you need to do one for subtractions. We found out, no, we can actually do addition subtractions in one device by using a 4-bit adder by using these exclusive gates here. And the way it works there, if this value is 1, just to give an idea, if I put a 1, it becomes a subtractor. Why? Because it finds the complement. Notice if my signals are, let's say my signal here is 0, 0, 1, 1. Can you see that? 0, 0, 1, 1. What happens when you put a 1 here? I got a 1, 1, 1, 1 going to each one. What is 0 exclusive 1? That's a 0. I mean, that's a 1. Exclusive OR gate, you have a value of 1 when the inputs are 1 is 0, 1 is 1. Uh, sheet of paper. The exclusive OR gate, that's what this one is. We'll call it O for out or out. If you have 0, 0, the result is 0. 0, 1, the result is 1. 1, 0, the result is 1. 1, 1, the result is 0. So when one of them is 1, the other one is 0, the result is 1. When they're both the same, the result is 0. So let me trace that just to show you. I'll put an ink color on it so you get to see it. Let me erase that. Maybe you can see it better. Let's see if I can erase it. Let's say my signal is zero. Can you see the zero? One, zero, one. Oh, I put them in the wrong place here. Zero, one, zero, one. Can you see that? Zero, one, zero, one. And now I put a one here. The one is going to make this one, 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 and one. Remember, my signal is zero. Can you see it here? What is zero? Exclusive one. One. What is one? Exclusive one. Zero. zero. What's one? Exclusive zero. One. What's one and one? Zero. I put zero, I got a one. I put a one, I got a zero. I put a zero, I got a one. I put a one, I got a zero. Isn't that the one's complement? And to find the two's complement, what do you do? Add one. Notice where this one attached to. If there is one, what's my carry attached to? One. That's the two's complement now. So I use the same device to add and subtract by doing the two's complement. If I put a zero here, all these guys are zero. So if I put zero, zero, still got a zero. It doesn't change. One and zero, still one. The same as this. Zero and zero, that's zero, same as this. Zero and one is one, the same as this. And you're adding zero to it, so you're not doing the two's complement. So that device actually can be used for addition and subtraction by adding these four gates to it. By putting the one, attaching the wire to this and this, when you put a one, you're adding one, you're doing the one's complement. One's complement plus one will give you the two's complement, and now go ahead and add them. By putting a zero, nothing changes here, and we can use that to add. So we use it for addition and subtractions. Okay, next topic for us is decoders. Those are actually fun. Those will wait till next class.